This is the Night Wolf howling at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Shadow High costume ball, Eliza McPhee doll. This is part of their masquerade line where we had three Shadow High and three Rainbow High characters all in costumes. The three Shadow High characters all being brand new, and the three Rainbow High characters all being uh, new variations on old characters. These are also a Walmart exclusive. On the back we get to see, of course, the three Shadow High characters. Inside we have a little quirk about her. Uh, Eliza McPhee is, a, is such a special effects pro that you'd think her fairy rings were real. She can't wait to show off her magical skills at Rainbow Vision Costume Ball. A friend of mine likes to point out with her though is that she's a beautiful doll except for it looks like she's wearing clown makeup. To a certain extent I have to agree with her on that. I think uh, maybe they should have gone for more of a pastel palette instead of the brighter palette they did on the makeup. But let's go ahead open her up and take a good look at her. Oh, she's got a hard plastic skirt. Kind of afraid I'm going to end up accidentally cutting her hair. Where else is she attached to this thing? There we go. Oh, it looks like we have freed most of her. There we go. I guess there's another band here. Another band here. One at the neck. Ah, and the standard two things that hold her in the back of the head. Oh, and her hand is still caught. Ta-da! That was awfully painful. La Cie del Lombre. I'm not sure what that actually means. Please let me know if you know in the comments. Let's just go ahead and get her stand out while we're at it. And her sparkly comb. Of course we have the QR code invitation. I wish this wasn't in here so tightly. Ugh. I don't know, kind of, to a certain extent, I actually almost wouldn't mind saving the, the back backing on this one, but it's so hard to get the stuff out of there without tearing off all the tape off the back already. But before we do a quick cleanup of the little plastic tabs that are sitting all over the place, Let's go ahead and get the stand put together so we can stand her up. Assuming her, her skirt allows you to do that. Uh, that may not work very well at the moment. So. Let's 
clear the decks. All right. First things first, I guess. And then we'll get the little plastic trapping her wrists. I think we will need to... Oh, I see what they did. Okay, hold on. Watch me ruin this doll. All right, let's let's get the wings out of the way first and foremost. She's got a lot of glue in her hair. I, I hate when they do that. Before we get to the dealing with the wings, let's go ahead and take a look at the doll herself. There we got our makeup. Bright purple, aqua, blue, and pink with, of course, some glitter highlights. The bangs don't look too bad. Here we just got some, like, pearl earrings, and, of course, they have the shape to kind of go for that kind of elven fairyish ear design. suppose uh, it would be kind of nice if they stuck stuck on there better, but at the same time, in order to do that, they probably would have had to put holes at the top, too. I'm curious, because we've got this uh, plastic skirt piece here. It looks like it is actually attached to the dress. And they have those little plastic tabby things going there. I may regret doing this, but they're giant tabs, so they look kind of awful on the outside, too. Small, the smaller ones might have been able to be kept in place, you know. Kind of hold the uh, skirt onto the plastic. Plastic petticoat. I think I would rather have seen them do like just a, an actual like layered petticoat for that, but I guess whatever. Kind of curious though as to how the does it actually come off with the whole dress? Feel like I'm gonna regret this too. <laughs> she also has a really, really like satiny sheen to her skin. I mean, the upper part of the skirt is split, so it should, or the petticoat, so it should slide down, but. Really doesn't want to move. So I guess we won't try to force it unless we get a second one of her on clearance and decide we want to use her for something else. She's just got kind of like some really glittery bow designs on her sh her heels. I don't know if the glitter on the heel there is on purpose or not, but I am seeing that there is a ton of glitter falling on the table right now. Let's go take a look at her wings. Yeah, that 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 um that plastic petticoat does not make her fit on that stand very well either. So the wings are actually in a piece of plastic to help keep them Looking good. Hmm. <laughs> Again, I wonder if I'm going to regret taking them off of that, but these things really were kind of awkward to have on the doll. But let's go ahead and see how well they fit now. If 
Gotta get all the hair out of the way. The real question is, what is the best way to do this? Because it would almost be like... I wonder if... can Does it go all the way around? So cross over the the straps underneath her. It just seems to me like the the straps are too long to just go right to the just go around her arms. You know what I mean? So I think maybe this is how she's supposed to look. And I don't think you're going to be able to really keep her on a doll stand very well with those wings in place either. Maybe we just need to pop this off and... Just kind of lean her against it. beautiful doll but man what a pain in the butt to try to deal with all that stuff on her okay well aside from that let's take a look at her hands because she's another one of those dolls that where they've got the molded jewelry in place painted inside and out she's got the pink fingernails with some detailing i am not a fan of the molded on jewelry though i think it just doesn't look particularly good. But overall, I'm not sure it was a good idea to take it take the wings out of that plastic. I mean, for display purposes, it's definitely going to look better than having those still in there. But if you're playing with her or moving her around, maybe not. But then again, who's going to give this to their kid to really do anything with because that skirt like, even just holding her, the bows are, like, stabbing into my skin, and it just doesn't feel good. <sighs> this is definitely one of those dolls that you set up a display and then not touch again, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any tips for actually doing the doll reviews that you'd like to give me or what you'd like to see when I do it, I would certainly appreciate it and take it under uh, consideration. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love.